راجل يعني شكرا شكرا يا فرح عبد الرحمن شفيق جاهز عبد الرحمن شفيق انا كتبت رقم قصير وللاسف حاضرنا رقم تليفوني عشان لسه مش حافظه وللاسف برضو الراب بالانجليزي We live in an age of darkness where women's clothes are always criticized regardless of what she's wearing whether short or long a woman will always fight us where it's hard to stay strong it's hard to avoid the perils of ignorance the barrier between our women and brilliance how we tolerate harassment will never make sense men doing what they please at our women's expense forced to set up our own lines of defense a mission we must follow till harassment ends show some respect and keep your hands to your own what makes you think a woman is something that you can own women should be treated like queens with their crowns look your mother in the eye and try to make her proud what if your sister was that girl all alone you're trying to take advantage while she's reaching for her phone does her weakness make you feel like a king on his throne have you no mercy has your heart turned to stone can you feel her pain as you hear her scream have you thought of how her actions can ruin her dreams how can one say that his actions are her fault just conceiving such a concept is a sickening thought Look what years of ignorance and poverty have brought, an infectious disease that must be stopped and fought. Women are our equals, easier said than done. As I look upon our people, I'm wondering what's become. people are talking about like human rights and stuff like this right all the people are, why are you quiet yeah right all right cool uh where's that girl maha oh my god that's embarrassing where's maha all right can i talk to any girl here i mean she come here i talk to her as if i right, come here Alright, do you like it when somebody touch you? No. Why? Because. Because what? <laughs> Why would they touch me? Oh, I see. So hard, right? It's real bad, right? When somebody touch a girl without no right, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. So can I ask why ladies are wearing so tight? You are going to say it's your right, isn't it? I mean. I mean, I believe everyone is free to do whatever they please. What about men? Uh, as long as they're not gonna hurt others. I mean, if someone wears tights, uh, how is think, that hurting? Uh, you? Do you think that the men, all of the men here around or outside here, are going to believe what are you saying? I mean, like the girl, she's free to wear anything that she wants, and the man would just stand and look at her. Answer. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I mean, you're saying that the girl should have the right to wear anything she likes, right? Of course, everyone has the right to wear. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm talking about women now. Women are free to wear whatever yeah. they want. Yeah. Are you expecting the man to look at her and just smile? Yes. Well, I don't think so. Well, all right. Thanks about this. Thank you. That's all what I want to ask you. Okay. That's all. Bye. Right. That, that all the questions. All right. So. But seeing her, the girl, she's answering like any girls have the right to wear anything. And the man would just stand and look at her and say like, it's great. I mean, it's nothing. Do you think it's fair? No. Do you think it's fair? No. Do you think it's fair like the girl, she wear anything and the man just stand and look at her? Without doing anything? No. One by one, one by one, one by one. So why do you think it's fair? Why do you think it's fair? 
Yeah, that's the that's the question. Why do I think it's not fair? All right. You see, in this century, men are hungry, right? Men are hungry of women. If you see a woman, you're just like, oh, I want this girl. I want to please myself and stuff like this, right? What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What are you saying? I can't hear you talk. I ain't no problem. Or what I say, this sickness is not gonna be ending. Even what we do, I mean, like a lot of people are talking like this thing is gonna end. This thing is not again. I mean, it's going to finish this thing is not going to finish all right because men want to please themselves and women want to protect themselves but this thing is not going to end as long as the behavior is not changing you mind if a man drinks i ain't no problem hi my name hi. is mahmoud hi, hi. hi mahmoud all good hi, all good all right um first things first hi. you were just saying first thing this thing is gonna not gonna end yeah all right I'd like to remind you, 60, 70 years I, ago mm -hmm. in the US, yeah. there were restaurants for colored people. There were places where no colored person could actually go to. There were a lot of people that believed this should not be the case. Yeah. They fought, they kept fighting. Some of them fought in peaceful ways. Some fought in intellectual ways. Some were violent. People are different, accept the differences. Nonetheless, right now, it's 2013, there is not a single place in the U.S. or, as far as I know, in over 95, 99% of the world where people cannot go inside based on their color. There's yeah. not a single... Thank you. I just read. Not a single mean of transportation that people cannot use because of their ethnicity or color. Why? Because a committed, small group of citizens believe that this should not be the case. I have a question for you. Shoot. All right, what's the solution? What's the solution? Very good question. We've got short-term solutions, we've got long-term solutions, we've got a lot of things to work on. And what really this goes down to is education. Educating the generation that's now growing up to Len Wayne rap talking about booties, talking about how women dress in a way that makes other males, because I won't use the word men uh -huh. in that context, uh -huh. look at girls as a mean of, tra of just pleasing themselves. That's what you were, you're talking about right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I am talking about. And that starts with a small committed group of citizens. Which is? Which is the people that you see right here that took their time, effort to start something like this. A lot of other initiatives, a lot of people that are trying to make a difference. So do you think it's going to end? I might not see it during my life, but yes, hell yes, this is going to end. In this kind of centuries, in this kind of lives, in this kind of lifestyle. Lifestyle is a choice. You choose your life, start with yourself, thank you. And then when yeah, you're yeah, done yeah. with yourself, yeah, we when you're done with yourself, no, of course. look at the small circle of influence that you have around you, your friends, your family, have, make a difference, yeah. have that lifestyle change. Again, that's a vision. A vision is something that you might not see during your lifetime, but it's something that you work hard, you do your best for, in hope that the next generation, your children, your grandchildren will be able to have a life with dignity, that they can walk around being treated as human beings, not as means of pleasure. I, that's, that's how right. that starts. I, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
في المجلس العربي للاخلاق والمواطنه وحابب القعده بتاعتكم دي وحابب اقرب منكم ويا ريت مدارسنا وجامعاتنا يبقى فيها الجو ده نقرب من بعض ونتكلم في قضيه التحرش انا عايز اقول ان اللي بيبعتني او بيخليني اتكلم ويجي تاني مره اتكلم زميلاتي ما يقدروش يطلعوا فبيقولوا لي ابعت انت الرساله وقول لما تكون قاعد مع زميلتك وفي شنطتها حجر طوب طب ده شايلاه ليه؟ قلت لي عشان لو حد قرب اخبطه تمام؟ برغم الحجم بتاع الحجر دوت بس هي مش حاسه بالامان فانا قلت لها طب مش خايفه؟ قلت لا طول ما ده معايا انا مش خايفه وهي بتدافع عن نفسها يعني مش مجرد تحرش جنسي سرقه حاولوا يسرقوا الشنطه اللي في ايديها كان سهل تسيبها يعني ايه اللي في الشنطه ممكن يتاخد؟ لكن هي اصرارها انها تفضل مكلبشه في الشنطه وتتجر مع الموتوسيكل دوت وتسرخ وما قدروش ياخدوا منها الشنطه فهي بطله ما قدروش ينفذوا اللي هم عايزينها. عايز اقول لكم ان ان الناس دي اللي اللي بتعاني من هذا الوضع ان بعضهم بيتهدد في شغله ودي رساله بعتها زميلتي قالت لي الطلب حاجه محدده يا اما يا اما لو انت عايز تثبتي انك هتبعت